the burden of trust. Millions of women carry water long distance. If they had a tap by their door, whole societies would be transformed. Alito Pinayos fit now the mountain. Even at four in the morning, she can run down the rocks to the river Paisalai along and climb the steep mountain park up to her village with a container of water on her pack. She has made this journey three times a day since she was a small child. So has every other woman in her village up forest in the council. This street of southwestern Ethiopia in Africa. Binayo left school when she was eight years old, in part because she had to help her mother fish water from the Toro River. The water is unsafe to the rink. Every year that the drought continues, the river carries less water and its flow is reduced. But is it the only water Faro has ever had? In developed parts of the world, people turn on a tap and out pours a prudent clean water. Yet nearly 900 million people in the world have no access to clean water. Furthermore, 2.5 billion people have no safe way to get rid of human waste. Polluted water and lack of proper hygiene cause disease and kill 3.3 million people around the world and nearly most of them children in southern Ethiopia and in northern Kenya. A lack of rain over the past few years has made even dirty water hard to fight. But then, for the first time, things are going to change. Bringing clean water close to village homes is the key to the problem. Communities where clean water becomes accessible and plentiful are transformed. On the hours previously spent hauling water can be used to cultivate more crops, raise more animals, or even start a business. Families spend less time sick or caring for family members who are unwell. Most important, not having to collect water means girls can go to school and get traps. The need to feed water for the family or to take care of younger siblings while their mother girls usually prevents them ever having this experience. But the challenge of bringing water to remote villages like those in council are overwhelming. Locating water on the ground and then reaching its by means of depth wells requires geological expertise and expenses. Having machines, abandoned wells, and water projects feature the village of council in similar villages around the developing world. The biggest problem with water schemes is that about half of them break down soon after the groups that build them move on. Sometimes technology is used that can be repaired locally or spare parts are available only in the capital. Today, a UK-based international non-profit organization called Water Aid is tackling the job of bringing water to the most remote villages of council. 
their approach comprises technologies proven to last, such as building a sand dam to capture and filter rainwater and wood out the skies the rain away. But the real innovation is that while the eight believers technology is only part of the solution, trust are important. Trust as important is involving the local community is designing, building and maintaining new water projects before beginning any a project where the aid asks the community to create a waste water sanitation hydrants committees of seven people. The committee works with water aid to plan projects and involve the village in construction. Then it maintains and runs the project. The people of Kransal who grow their crops on terraces, they have dug into the sides of mountains, are famous for hard work in the village of official residents even constructed a rock themselves so that the reeling machinery could come in. Last summer, their pump is stunned by the river was being motorized to push its water to a newly built reservoir on top of a nearby mountain. From there, gravity will carry it down in pipes to village on the other side of the mountain. Residents of those villages have each given some money to help fund the project. They have made concrete and collected stones for the structures. Now they are digging trenches to lay pies if on your square. A little pinayo will have a tap with safe while the trust a three minute walk from her front door.